In this video, we'll go over a list of the eight best books on wholesaling real estate. As a real estate agent, I have often been asked how to get started investing in real estate. While there are many ways to invest in real estate, I think wholesaling is one of the best. In real estate wholesaling, you perform the role of the middleman. You purchase a property from an individual who wants to sell it, usually fast and under market. And then you turn around and immediately sell it to another interested party. Wholesaling real estate requires tenacity, a lot of connections, and hard work. But first, you need to know what you're doing. Let's take a look at some of the best books on wholesaling real estate and what they can teach you. What's going on, everyone? I'm Kyle Handy, a realtor and team leader here in San Antonio, Texas. I help teach other realtors, team leaders, and brokers how to grow and scale their real estate business through digital marketing, content creation, social media, as well as tried and true methods. And if you want proven strategies that you can use to get more leads, closings, and scale your team, you'll love this video. Keep watching. All right, the first book up on our list is the Real Estate Wholesaling Bible. The Real Estate Wholesaling Bible is where you should get started. By Than Merrill, this book covers everything you need to know to get started in this type of real estate investing. This book includes how to wholesale real estate, how to find and analyze potential purchases, how to find a motivated cash buyer, how to build a business and develop systems, and how to ensure that the business ultimately helps your community. As a real estate book, it's especially valuable because it doesn't just cover the process of real estate investing. It shows real estate investors how to actually create a business from their investments. It's not as simple as making money. Building business is a lot more than that. It's about building the right people and delegating. The Real Estate Wholesaling Bible covers this and more. If you only read one real estate investing book, it should probably be this one. Number two, The Wholesaling Blueprint. The 2021 silver medal winner for reader's favorite in nonfiction business finance, The Wholesaling Blueprint shows you how to start your wholesaling career without spending any money of your own. This book is ideal for the real estate investor who doesn't have a lot of liquidity. This book shows you how to find and secure properties, how to find a potential buyer, and how to collect a fee. It includes negotiations, contracts, and more everything you need to grow your book and your business. Written by Luke Weber, it calls upon his years of experience as a real estate investor. This is intended as a tried and true method that has worked for him and which he believes will work for you. Number three, The Beginner's Guide to Wholesaling Real Estate. In Jeff Layton's The Beginner's Guide to Wholesaling Real Estate, you are walked through the step-by-step -step process of real estate investing. You're not going to become an expert in wholesale real estate overnight, but with this book, you'll be able to fast flip houses without a lot of guesswork. This guide is extremely informative, packed with information, and designed to make you better at real estate investing. And while it's a small book, it's really intended to streamline and simplify the entire process. Number four, real estate investing for beginners. Jonathan Smart's Real Estate Investing for Beginners covers both wholesaling and flipping, with an eye on making sure that you can achieve your financial freedom faster. When it comes to real estate investing, a wholesale deal is pretty similar to a flip. The only difference between investing in a wholesale property and investing in a flip is that the flip requires some renovation or repair work on your behalf. But if you're out there wholesaling houses, you may run into the perfect rental property or the perfect flip. You might be in one of the toughest real estate markets, but stumble upon an investment property that you're sure is going to build equity like crazy. By reading Real Estate Investing for Beginners, you'll know how to tackle any of these challenges from flipping and renovations to rental property investing. This book is ideal for those who are coming to the challenge from a property management or rental management background. Number five, if you can't wholesale after this, in this book, Todd Fleming shows you everything you need to know about building financial freedom and creating your own small business. This book is a step-by-step -step guide for closing your first real estate deal, from finding the right property to finding an end buyer. If you wanna know more about real estate investment from the angle of building financial freedom, this book is perfect. It's designed to coax those tired of the rat race into the real estate market. So it doesn't assume any prior knowledge about today's real estate market. According to Todd Fleming, he is able to create his real estate business with only $11 in his bank account. 
In addition to teaching you about wholesaling, creating a real estate investment business, and being a business owner, this book is intended to change how you think about finance and money. Many real estate investors ideas are situated not only around building your book and your business, but really counting how wealth is made. Here, you can learn the proven tactics of a millionaire real estate investor. Number six, skip the flip, secrets the 1% know about real estate investing. Many wealth investing books are written for those who want to create a business, improve their cash flow, and otherwise work hard. But what about the 1%, the investors who just invest with other people's money? Skip the Flip by Hayden Crabtree is unique among real estate wholesaling books because it's intended to illuminate the strategies that the wealthiest people use to build further wealth. For instance, they are more likely to wholesale properties by finding a motivated seller than they are to flip properties and complete renovations on their own. They are more likely to work on their own behalf than with a real estate agent, and they don't shy away from building a book of commercial real estate. In Skip the Flip, you'll learn how to actually put your money to work with real estate loopholes, property purchases, and built equity. Number seven, Flip, an unconventional guide to becoming a real estate entrepreneur and building your dream lifestyle. Nick Ruiz's Flip covers how to start wholesaling and flipping houses without any cash in the bank. Like many other books on this list, Flip shows you that you can theoretically enter into the real estate investment business without any money at all. But Flip takes some slightly different angles showing how to get in and out quickly and how to secure your profit. Rather than showing people how to permanently invest in real estate, Ruiz focuses on how to become a wholesaler and a real estate entrepreneur. Wholesalers don't invest in real estate. They don't hold on to their properties. They make more money faster by buying properties and selling them as quickly as possible. It's this area that Flip focuses on, the ability to take and secure profits fast. Flip is a great book for those who don't just want to learn a little bit about wholesaling, but really want to be able to thrive in it. And number eight, how to be a real estate investor. The average real estate investor is doing more than just one thing. A real estate investor might be wholesaling, renting, and flipping properties all at the same time. How to be a real estate investor covers everything you need to know from A to Z. So you'll be prepared if the perfect opportunity presents itself. The more you know about the real estate market and the real estate business, the better. You may want to know about rental properties, for instance, if you really want to be able to sell properties that will make great rentals. This book is written by a real estate investor, mentor, and coach who has extensive knowledge of the business. By buying and reading this book, you'll get additional knowledge about how real estate works, which opportunities are out there for you, and how to get into the real estate mindset. This popular book by Phil Pustajowski will expand your credentials as a real estate investor and ensure that you don't let excellent opportunities pass you by. Next, let's get into some frequently asked questions on wholesaling real estate. Do you need to be a realtor to wholesale real estate? No, but it helps. You need to be a realtor to broker a transaction between two buyers, to manage a real estate transaction between two independent parties. But that's not what you're doing as a wholesaler. As a wholesaler, you're essentially flipping houses. You're buying a house and then selling it. Anyone can do that. Being a realtor can still help though. It provides additional connections and gives you more insight into how the market works. What are the best markets for real estate wholesaling? The best markets are markets where there are a lot of distressed properties, a lot of rental properties, or just a hot market. It depends on what type of investor that you are. Distressed properties will often sell very low and very fast. Rental properties are a hot commodity and a lot of investors will be interested. In hot markets, see property values increase quickly so you can flip the property fast. To learn more about rental properties, check out my video on rental home investing that I'll link above. Is real estate wholesaling just house flipping? Real estate wholesaling is house flipping without renovations, repairs, or improvements. You have a book of interested investors and you just operate as a middleman. In fact, you might even be working with house flippers. Imagine a scenario. You buy a property for $50,000, sell it to a flipper for $55,000, then they put the work in to sell it for $80,000. All of you make a significant profit relative to the work that you put in. How do you finance real estate wholesaling? Cash, mortgages, hard money loans, 
It depends on your personal financial situation. A good real estate investing book will cover at least some of these options, their pros and their cons. For a lot of real estate investing, you need cash in the bank, but there are options in wholesaling real estate under which you really won't. Many wholesalers will actually assign contracts, meaning that they'll lock up a home, find a willing buyer before it closes, and assign the contract over for a set fee. Is real estate wholesaling passive income? Being a real estate wholesaler takes work, as does flipping homes, but you can create passive income by appropriately delegating, building your business, and ultimately stepping back. Many books on wholesaling real estate focus on not only creating a business, but becoming self-sustaining. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Just click on the subscribe button below this video. Also, hit that thumbs up button and give this video a like as it helps my videos reach more real estate agents looking to grow their businesses. And by the way, if you're interested in partnering with me at eXp Realty, head over to my partner page and check out the exclusive benefits that you receive. I'm passionate about helping agents win. I've already partnered with nearly 100 agents across the country to help them increase their real estate business and generate more leads. And I'm never too busy for you. When you partner with me, you receive free access to all of my current and future paid courses, which you can find on academy.kylehandy.com. Additionally, you get access to my private Facebook community called The Dream Team, where I go live multiple times per week. Just head over to kylehandy.com forward slash partner for more information. Finally, if you've made it this far, I want to thank you. Type hashtag end crew in the comments to let me know that you watched to the end. And now I want to turn it over to you. Do you participate in real estate wholesaling? What are some of your favorite resources for getting started? Do you have any of your own tips? Until my next video, be well and get out there and sell some homes.